Welcome in, welcome back, guys. Here we go. Uh, I got this. Uh, I think it's 2012 Dodge Ram 1500. What's going on, these guys? These headlights are kicking my butt. Nothing is actually making sense. Okay, now we got new bulbs in both both sides. This is a comeback. I'm not gonna say who because I once again am a team player. So let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Let me turn the headlights on, and y'all can see for yourself. All right, they are now on. Actually, head beam, head, uh, high beam is on too. Okay. All right, so let's go over to the car, guys. What we got now, as you can see, uh, because high beam is on, obviously low and high beam light is on. Now on this side, uh, you have just look like low beam. High beam is not on, even though that's a new bulb, guys. All right, so what I want to show you guys is, let me get this out of here because this is messing up my light. All right, we know that's power supply. Obviously, power supplied and ground. So, now I want to show you guys um, something real quick. This is what's throwing me off. or This is what threw me off. I think I got a handle on it, but I want to know how did it happen. Okay, now, you know, any kind of light, um, in order for it to light circuit, it has to be complete, right? Power supply and ground. Okay, I have this bulb unplugged. I'm going to set this right here. Now, I have my test light here. And I got it plugged up to uh, power supply. So, only thing you can check this way is ground. Alright, uh, where's some ground? Where's some ground? Let me make sure this is grounded, guys. Uh, and it is. Alright, so, now I'm at this connector of this one particular bulb. Now, if you look at that, you would think green and white is power supply and blue and black is ground. All right, so let's put our test light right here. No ground. And of course, you don't expect that one to be ground. All right, so let's change it over. Let's switch this to uh, a ground source and see if I have any power supply at this same connector. We're going to put this right here. All right, so let's go back over here at this connector. What are we? Are we checking for power supply now? So let's verify that I got. Yes. All right, here we go. Which one is this? Uh, we're going to do the green and white wire first because that's supposed to be uh, powered. And it is. Let's do this one. And it is. Why is that power supply, guys? All right, let's find out. Now, taking a look at this connector, you will see it is routed. We're going to stay focused on the black and blue wire. We're going to see this connector is routed through here, right? The same black and blue wire is coming right here, right? And it is also going through here, right? The same black and blue wire that should be ground. So if I manually make this ground, it's, that should be light. But I don't want to have to ma manually make it ground. I want to know why it's not ground in the first place. So this is where I leads all the way to here. Okay. Now let's simply unplug this connector. Alright, the connector is unplugged. I want to make sure well it's not grounding anywhere because you can physically see the wires. So the connector is going up through here to the other bulb. Let's make sure. Let's see if this is powered. Where are you going to get power source at? All right, neither one of these is powered. All right, so let's take the feed connector, which is this one. Now, if you place it right here, you would think that black and blue wire is the one on the end, which translate to this white wire. The black and blue wire is on the center of this green connector. Now, guys, this this was uh this is what was jacking me up. Let's go over here and look. If you look at this side, this black and blue wire is in the center. Okay, where naturally you would think it should be. All right, so right, yes, yeah, see even up here, this is black and blue. So this is obviously completing the circuit the way it's supposed to. But why is this black and blue wire in the center on the right side and not the left side? It's center, black and blue is centered on this connector. But the connector of the wiring harness that goes right here to the headlight switch 
the black and blue is on the right side not centered now let's go look at this black same connector on this side you will see right here the black and blue wire is in the center now did somebody is this the wrong size headlight uh or is this the wrong size wire harness not wrong wrong side not size side okay because this is the car this is connected to the car and if you look at that you would think it's wired correctly right right i will assume that so one of two things guys i have the wrong wire harness now everything look factory it don't look like nobody took this pin out why would somebody take this pin out and put it on the rag side now here's what i'm thinking i'm thinking i can merely cut right here in the center and swap those two over and everything should work right guys you would think that right because i'm gonna write up an estimate to replace this harness anyway i'm gonna go ahead and experiment a little bit guys i'm going to experiment with the fact if i make the black wire centered the way it's supposed to be and the the other white wire by over to the right will the system work as designed because it's not going to work as long as this black ground wire is on the end and the feed circuit is looking for that black and ground black and blue wire in the center all right guys so i'm gonna go grab a cup a pair of crimpers and we're gonna move this over here and this over here let's see what happened i'll have to write this up anyway i'm gonna write up a complete harness for the left side headlight i don't know how this happened guys this didn't just happen this had to have been or somebody replaced this tail light this headlight assembly okay because it wasn't bolted in perfect I, it came out with ease so somebody obviously been fooling with it replaced it or something like that i don't know but let's uh let's let's swap this out like i'm talking about stay tuned all right guys let's do this real quick i turned the headlights off to take away the power supply i have to replace this harness anyway so I'm going to stagger cut this right here. Just to see what happens. So we're going to put. Oh, look how easy that came out, guys. You know what that means? Somebody made. That one came out way too easy. So somebody been tampering with this. But why? All right, this whole pin came out, guys. Somebody been fooling with this. I would hate to think this this car been this way since factory. That's almost impossible. This is a 2012 model. Okay, I just need to go back in here. For now, just to cure my suspense, guys. Sometimes the suspense be killing me. Uh, the guy that gave this to got tired of fooling with it. Nothing's making sense, and I agree. Absolutely nothing makes sense. But I'm finna manually put it to where it's supposed to be, and we're gonna see what happens. Now, you don't wanna get too close to that or you will pop a fuse okay the way I have it wired now my ground should now be back in the center the way it's supposed to and guys it's temporary I'm not leaving this like this do not dog me out this is not even a good wiring pair I'm just you veterans know what I'm talking about what I'm doing um, Try to separate that as far as possible. Now, guys, what we're going to do. Where's my book? I'm going to plug this in. Oh, this don't go here. Let's go here. And the bulb go in the other end. Okay, this is just all in an effort to see if I get everything back. I'm going to put this bulb. Now, well, I have no power supply. I guess I can check for ground. Let me see. Well, it might not show. 
All right, guys, I'm about to turn the headlight switch back on, and we're going to see what happens. All right, headlights are on. Now, my light is light and it's strong. So, guys, do I have my ground? Okay, that's power because I have it on a, I have the other end of the test light on the ground. So what we're going to do is move my other end of the test light on the power supply. I have to have ground because that light bulb is lit, guys. So we're just doing redundant stuff right now. Where's my test light? Here it is. Is my center pin ground? It is. Guys, somebody, let me turn the headlights on, off so we can talk. All right, guys, somebody <laughs> tampered with this wiring. Yes, the center wire should be black. If you're going to have, um, that's typically how it's, because this is the way it's wired over here, guys. Okay, so you can compare the two, all right? You, wh how will you know which one is right? You won't. You have to look at the wiring diagram. But based on this diagnosis, what I just did, I'm going to either charge the customer for repairing this harness and do this the right way or replacing the harness. Really, if you want to save everybody money, there's no need to replace this harness. You can wire this the way it's supposed to wire, but it needs to be done professionally, guys. I will crimp that, heat shrink tube that, or solder this and heat shrink tube that, so it would be perfect. So I might, I'm going to give the customer the option, guys, but this will beat you up, guys. You have to understand the circuit, okay? Where is the ground side and where is the power supply side? In this case, the ground should have been in the center because the ground from the car is in the center everything is normal everything is working now i have my headlights high beam and low beam guys i have to wrap this video up guys i hope y'all got some out of this uh if nothing else um uh what to do if you have wiring discrepancy i guess you want to call it it could be considered because this this is not normal and i don't even know if this uh, maybe they replaced this harness and thought i don't know but I know what it takes to fix it properly. We have to do it properly here, guys. I can't jimmy rig this or, you know, whatever the words y'all use these days. I have to do it properly. And go think, just to figure, guys, I was this close. Uh, this is a tip-em. Y'all know the tip-em controls the headlight, right? The lighting. All exterior lighting goes through the tip-em. All right? Uh, I was stumped a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to even lie. Now, you can check fault codes in here, and it would dictate if there's such lighting driver issues but there was none and i'm thinking to make it quick y'all know i do this for quick purposes swap it out real quick take five minutes swap that out if my headlight works i know this is my problem well i never got around to that because i got to being nosy and doing visual inspection visual inspection goes a long way guys all right uh electrical 101 guys um uh, so let me go up here and uh talk to my manager and tell them what i found tell the customer what i found what's going on what it's going to take to properly keyword here is properly repair this all right guys that's all i have thanks for watching comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video